In Tukwila, police are trying to track down suspects caught on camera stealing cars from a body shop. The same business has been hit twice in as many weeks. Not only is the owner frustrated, so are his customers. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman joins us live tonight from where the shop is located. Ali, how are the intruders getting away with these cars? Jamie David, I can tell you that this seems to be a very well organized crime. The car was actually in the parking lot right in front of us, where apparently these alleged thieves were here for about two hours uninterrupted. They chained up that car to their truck and then managed to drive away despite this. Take a look. There are surveillance cameras up here, and the crooks didn't even seem to mind that there was a sign warning them. Now, despite this, the shop owner says he fears and he believes that. One of them at least was here earlier last week. He says he had his surveillance cameras capture one of them sticking a piece of fence that he took from around the corner, sliding it through this slot here, and then yanking out the keys to one of his customers who then dropped him off overnight. Now, the owner of the vehicle that was stolen, he's pleading for his vehicle to be returned in one piece. Ryan Parshall loves what he does, making your cars louder, faster, more appealing. The performance mechanic has been at ease knowing he has surveillance cameras, an alarm system, and a security guard who patrols his shop. That night, they never came once. Take a look. His cameras picked up this action Wednesday morning. Three men are seen pulling up in this white F-250 into the Mont Garage in Tequila around 1 a.m. Right here, this guy. Comes around, boom, hits it with a hammer, breaks the window. Off the bat, the they pull in. around back, smashing car door. windows. Got this open, went back here. Uh, they found an OEM steering wheel that they, they stole. Two men are seen rummaging through the car, inside the console and glove box, not finding much, so they drive around to the front of the shop. So this is where they're hooking up a chain to the back of their truck. Their goal, it seems, is to make off with this 2018 Subaru WRX STI. So they just drive right off. And there goes the car. For hours, the men are uninterrupted. And it sucks because if they would have rolled through that night, they might have stopped them from stealing the car at least. A car Ryan has dedicated countless hours, sweat and pride into to upgrade it to make it Johnny Melton's dream come true. Break my heart. It's like you took one of my kids. It's horrible. Pushing back tears, Johnny says this car is priceless to him. He and his dad, Johnny Sr., started working on it two and a half years ago. Halfway through, his dad got COVID and unfortunately died from complications. But oh. Johnny didn't give up. I sold my house to build this car the way I wanted it. Take a look under the hood. He spent $92,000 money and memories yanked from this lot. It was horrible. He was just disgusted. So it's disgusting to watch someone take something away from me like that. Johnny fears the shop was targeted. The attack brazen and careless as the men's faces are seen clear as day on video. Ryan believes this man is linked to a theft reported last week. Around 5.30 a.m. last Thursday, this man wearing a black hoodie walks up, peeks through the door, grabs a piece of fencing from the parking lot, reaching through his key drop box for a set of keys. He happened to see the key on the floor and now he's fishing it out. The man then simply just walks away. He says he's feeling defeated as a business owner and frustrated for his clients now dealing with the aftermath. They're not the only ones reeling. The Puget Sound Task Force says statewide more than 31,000 vehicles have been reported stolen through September of this year compared to 33,499 in all of 2021. I just hope that they don't come back. Uh, I hope that no one ever tries to break into the shop. Tonight, Johnny is hopeful that one, his car is found in one piece, and he's hopeful that anybody will recognize his unique car and report it. Right now, we know that Tequila Police is looking into this incident, and they're out there looking for these suspects. They're also urging anyone who has any information to email them at tips at tequila.wa.gov or call them. We do have that number down on your screen. Back to you. Alejandro, thank you.